welcome back to the channel and guys this is Rajoshi and today we are going to edit this photograph and turn it into something that looks much more like cinematic so without any further ado let's get started once we are here in this beautiful world of affinity photo 2 the first thing we are going to do here is play with the highlights shadows and the black point of this image so Let's get there. So we increase the highlights, I mean the exposure, increase the black points, the brightness slightly, and then we add a lot and lot of clarity to this image. Clarity actually increase the contrast of the midtones, and then we also increase the contrast, the regular contrast, and then we are pretty much done developing this image and What do you think? Does this require anything else? I don't think so. So let's develop this. Once we are here in this beautiful photo persona, the first, I mean the second thing that we are going to do here is actually play with the curves. So let us develop the cinematic feel to the image by applying a curve, normal S curve. Press Ctrl or Command M. Then create a normal S curve and then put up the shadows all right so this adds to the necessary haze to the image just as you can see here it's much more hazy and uh, there is a lot more details in the shadow regions making it look faded and old so the next thing we're going to do here is actually play with the color balance layer and then we are going to play with one more curve section to finally wrap up this editing. So now we are going to add a color balance layer. Choose the midtones and bring some blue to this midtones. Cyan, somewhat greenish and somewhat of yellow. And then we play with the shadows and increase the blues there as well as the green. Slightly, slightly, ever so slightly. And you see, we already have a huge difference. I mean, I don't know if you can see it properly, but this is the before, this is the after. Did I speak wrong there? I mean, this was the before and this is the after. Once we are here, after this uh, image editing, the next thing, as I said, we'll be creating another curve and apply some color using curves. So press Ctrl or Command M and then choose red increase decrease the red in these shadows to bring back the cinematic blue to the image and also balance it out in the midtones then pick the green increase the green in the shadows slightly ever so slightly and take it out from the highlights ever so slightly remember subtle to keep it real subtle smaller and baby steps i spoke nonsense there but it's okay let's get going so next we choose the blue channel and here we take down the blue in the mid area to give it a uh, yellowish tones in the mid tones and that will add up to the image processing much more better to provide us a cinematic look and feel this was the before this is the after before and after just look at how cinematic it looks i'll show you this was the before and this is the after before and after Next what we are going to do here is actually do something extravagant and by extravagant I mean add a light rays always it always works with almost every sort of image so just select a light ray place it like that. All right, then decrease the opacity to around 34 to 40%. Here I'm keeping it with around 35% or 36%, let's say. And this was the before, this is the after. And we are pretty much done with editing this image. Now, if you want to go for some sort of um, special effects, you can always go and apply some Gaussian blur layer and then blur it. 
we are going to do that exact same thing here so we create a gaussian blur layer bump up the blur to around 25 to 20 30 pixels and change the blending mode to screen and then in the blend tools option blending options we take it from the shadows so what this does actually this creates a glow uh, autumn effect around the face and in the highlights so that is enough for us to create a cinematic feel and then we are done with editing this image so i'll show you once again this was the before and this is the after before and after before and after so with that being said i think we are done with editing this photograph and i'll see you in the next week until then adios take care and always goodbye